एलिगेंट टाइटल एनिमेशन वीडियो नंबर टू So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's create a text and I'll type title font. I have chosen this Oswald font. Select this text, press Ctrl Alt Top to align that anchor point to the center. Go to the Align tab, align it horizontally and then align it vertically. Press S for scaling option and scale it somewhere around like this. Now select this text and go to the Animate menu and choose Position and let's move this downwards like this. Go to the range selector, create one keyframe at the start, zoom in a little bit, go to around 1.20 frames and create another keyframe and let's make this proper 100. Then go to the add menu, choose property and now we will choose for tracking and let's decrease this tracking amount like this and go to the add menu, property and choose, let's choose opacity and let's make this 0 like this or let's make this 100 initially. Again go to the add menu, choose property and choose rotation and let's rotate it like this and now decrease that opacity like this. So now if you are going to see we are going to get something like this. Now go to the add menu, choose property and choose blur options and let's increase the blurriness to 50 and let's make opacity not too much but 20. Now select those keyframes, hit F9, go to the graph editor and let's select this graph by holding shift. I'm gonna move this handle over here and this handle over here so if you see we are gonna get something like this then select this text at this point I'll press S create one keyframe go few frame forward and let's decrease this scale somewhere around like this go to the start and let's increase the scale select those keyframe hit F9 go to the graph editor Let's select this graph holding shift. Let's move this one over here and this one over here. So we'll get this kind of scaling animation and let's not decrease the scale too much like this only. Okay, now select this text and now I'm going to select my rectangle tool and I'm going to create one mask on this text like this. Select this text, hit Ctrl D, press M and let's invert this mask. Select this and go to the character menu i'm going to choose red color for this one like this so we are going to get something like this and now uh, select both the text and press p for position create one keyframe go few frame forwards let's select this move this downwards let's select this move this upwards like this select those keyframes hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift let's move this handle over here and let's move this handle over here so we'll get something like this okay and now we need to add another text so select this text tool let's go over here and type another text i'm going to type animation hit ctrl a and now i'm going to choose different color for this text like this Select this text, press Ctrl Alt Home, go to the Align tab, align it horizontally and then align it vertically. You can increase the scale somewhere around like this or let's decrease like so it will fit in the middle of it. Go to the character menu and increase the distance between this alphabet somewhere around like this. Press Ctrl Alt Home, go to the Align tab, align it horizontally so it's gonna be fit into it or you can adjust it somewhere around over here. Now select any text of it and let's go inside this and go to the start let's go to text and we have this animate option over here so all we need to do simply hit ctrl c to copy this animate one select this text and hit ctrl v and hit u so you will get same animation over here and now after this animation i want this animations to start so i'll select this and let's move this over here so it will animate like this now hit u right click new and create one adjustment layer go to the effect and presets panel and search for glow effect and simply double click to apply let's increase the glow radius and increase the glow threshold and glow intensity i'm going to choose 0.5 so yes this is how you can create this kind of simple title animations so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates 
And if you want to create some more interesting animations like this, then check out these two videos. I'll see you in my next video. Until then, stay tuned.